Well, we've been following this wildfire over in Eastern Bay County. It so far has burned 800 acres. About 600 people have been evacuated out of harm's way. The situation is what you would call fluid, very fluid right now. Uh, we're going to check in with Thomas Schultz. He's been out there most of the afternoon. Thomas, what do you know about the evacuees? I understand you've talked to a couple of them. Tom, residents are in tears with many uncertain if their homes are still standing. Dozens of people have filed into Highland Park Baptist Church since the fire forced them to evacuate their homes east of Transmitter Road in south of Highway 231. People I spoke with today say the fire spread too quickly for them to pack clothes from their homes. They arrived here at Highland Park Baptist Church with the clothes on their backs and for some, their pets. One woman named Lori Schumann was returning from a doctor's appointment when she heard that she needed to evacuate. She lives on Magnolia Boulevard. Schumann says she lost her dog, her home, and everything in the house from the fire. This is the second time that she's lost her home after losing it a few years ago from Hurricane Michael. Schumann says that she's devastated and she doesn't know where to turn next. After losing her home in Hurricane Michael, she can't believe that she has to go through the process of restarting her life once again. Another resident named Odessa Braden lives off of Transmitter Road. She says that she was at the doctor when she heard that her neighborhood was being evacuated. Braden rushed home and drove on the shoulder of 231 around traffic to get to her house in time to save her two dogs. She says she could see the fire from her home and didn't have time to pack up any clothes or take any personal belongings. Like Schumann, Braden lost everything in Hurricane Michael. She says she's tra traumatized and petrified that she'll have to restart her life all over again. And Tom, as you can see behind me, there's a lot of that going on here today. There's a lot of residents, people still piling into Highland Park Baptist Church, and now they've got Salvation Army and the Red Cross out here handing people supplies, trying to help them out as they wait to see when they can come home and see what's left of their homes. Reporting live from Highland Park Baptist Church in Panama City, Thomas Schultz, News 13, Panhandle Strong. All right, thanks very much, Thomas. And there are a lot of stories happening right there where he is.